Today, we're going to let Morgan take us on a ride on a magic vision board. <laughs> and she is going to walk us through kind of what a vision board is, you know, the purpose behind having one, how she has gone about building hers. Um, and then if you've built yours, uh, would love for you guys to share yours and the thought process behind yours as well. I do have mine ready. I tried to be a good student and teacher and be ready to participate. Um, so with that being said, Morgan, I'm going to hand it over to you. And I've set it so you can share the screen if you need to. So just let me know if you need me to do anything else. Okay, uh, bear with me because I don't do this often enough. I need to make sure that you can see the right side of the screen. So let me see here. Um, okay, let me. One second. Uh, Okay, I lost you, so hold on. Zoom. There you are. Share your screen. All right, I think my the battery in my mouse is dying as well, so my mouse is like all over the place here. Okay, can you see that? Can you see my screen? Nope. No. Hmm. Share screen. Share. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're in business. All right. So first of all, good morning. And thank you for everybody that is attending. Um, any participation is highly appreciated. Um, so is anybody here familiar with vision boards or have used vision boards? in the past, Christina yeah. has, right, awesome. So I like to do vision boards. Um, I like to update them at least once a year. Um, and I was getting ready to do my new vision board anyway. And then Doug asked me to do this. It all kind of aligned at perfect timing too. We're in new moon energy. So I don't know if anybody's into astrology, but this is like <clears throat> the perfect time to set intentions and create your vision board. So uh, let's get started. All right, so what is a vision board? A vision board is a concrete representation of your desires. Vision boards are really important when you are goal setting because they provide you with a daily visual reminder of your dreams, goals, and aspirations. The single most important thing in your life is your dream, right? Like, Every idea, everything that has been manifested into physical reality was first a dream. So that's the most important start. Uh, studies have shown that people who make vision boards or keep images of their goals have almost twice as much confidence in achieving them than those without visual motivation. Many successful people use vision boards to accomplish their, the life of their dreams. For example, a few of them would be Oprah Winfrey, She's huge on vision boards. I know she's done a lot of um, interviews about it and has actually taught a few courses on it. Steve Harvey is another one. I actually just listened to one of his recordings yesterday. It was really inspiring. Like he tells his story how he came from literally nothing, like very poor. Um, he, he struggled in school. He flunked out of classes. He stuttered. Nobody really believed in him that he would make it anywhere. Uh, he lived in his car for three years. And he talks about how vision boards changed his life. And I mean, look at him now. He's so successful. So it's really inspiring. Jim Carrey is another one. I know I heard an interview with him where before anybody even knew who he was and he was trying to get his name out there, he wrote himself a check. I love this idea. He printed off a blank check or took a blank check out of his um, checkbook and wrote a check for a million dollars to himself and put it on his ceiling so that every night when he went to bed, 
he looked at that um, check. And I mean, look at look at him now. Katy Perry's another one. I know Reese Witherspoon's another one. There's a lot, most people that are very successful use techniques like this. So something to think about. Uh, one quote I want to just throw in here from Albert Einstein, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. Let me say that one more time. Imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. Again, everything begins with a thought and a dream. And you just, the key is to put it out into the universe and believe. So the first thing I like to do when I'm doing my vision boards is set the mood. So you can do that by listening to some calming or uplifting music, light some candles and or incense. I like doing that. Pour yourself a refreshing beverage if you want and silence your phone. I think that's very important. You don't want to have any interruptions once you get the flow of this. <clears throat> the next thing is to set your intentions. That's me, by the way, meditating in Sedona. <laughs> Um, so the first thing you want to do is create some space and set your intention. I like to start off with a 10 to 15 minute meditation and really get into feeling the feelings of already having what it is that I desire. I can't stress this enough. This is so important. Making a vision board is more than just cutting out pictures from a magazine or that you printed off from Google or Pinterest and just slapping them on a poster board and making a collage. The feeling of having what you or what you want as if you already have it is key. So for example, you want to feel your hands gripped around the steering wheel of your dream car and the wind in your hair, like really get into it, feeling the sunshine on your face, waving to people in that dream car as you pass them by. Um, feel the feeling of what it would feel like to see a $10 million check deposited into your bank account, right? Like if you went to check your balance right now and you saw a $10 million deposit, how would that make you feel? Probably pretty damn good, right? <laughs> um, so getting into the feeling of what it would feel like to have what you desire and staying in that moment really gives you momentum. Imagine looking out the airplane window, to destinations that you've never been to, you know, close your eyes, see what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you feel, and really pay attention to that. Um, use your imagination. Once you've done that, um, I think it's really important to write it all down. Grab a pen and paper, write out what your goals are, write some affirmations in present tense. For example, instead of writing, I will make $10 million, right? I have $10 million. Write them as if they're already in motion and happening in real time. And then I think it's also important to write at least three to five things that you're grateful for in your current timeline as well. Gratitude is key. One thing that my partner and I do is um, we keep a gratitude journal by the coffee maker so that every single morning, when we get up, the first thing we do before we make our coffee is write down at least three things that we're grateful for that day. It's an amazing way to start your day, really set your intention. And if this isn't something that you're already doing, I really recommend doing it and just watch how quickly your life will start to change. By the way, if anybody has any questions while I'm doing this, please feel free to unmute yourself and chime in at any time. So there's really no wrong way of making a vision board, but over the years that I've done it, I've learned that organizing it in a feng shui um, type of way, it, it works for me. I like doing it. So you don't have to follow this, but this is just a template that you can use so I like to, you know, number one through nine and then write these categories, you know, wealth, health, wisdom, your fame, good fortune, career, marriage and love, children, creativity, and then like your spiritual life and travel. These, it's a good starting point to get an idea of what you want your life to look like in all of these areas. 
And if you're not used to writing, um, once you just start writing down a couple of things, I promise you, like, you'll just get into the flow of it and then things will just start coming to you. Um, so once you're done journaling, you can use old magazines, Pinterest, or Google images, cut out words, affirmations, quotes, and pictures that symbolize goals that you have for yourself. It's very important to remember, there is no goal that is too big, too small, too dumb, or too elaborate. If you desire it and work towards it, then you deserve it and you'll receive it. Embrace your inner child, use your imagination and let your mind wander. Um, if you are using pictures from the internet, that's typically what I do. It is good to put them on a Word document and scale the size before printing them out. That way you're not printing out giant pictures that are going to take up your whole board. Um, and again, today I'm going to show an example of a vision board that I did online, but I also like to have them printed out in person like this. It is a very good visual reminder um, of, you know, why, why I'm doing this, why I'm working so hard. Um, but also, I think it's good to have them on, like, I have a, a little vision board on my phone, I have one on my computer, I have one on Pinterest, and like I said, I have one um, that I like to print out. So again, you can use this as a guide. Um, and like I was just saying, it's important to have your vision board in a place that you frequent often, so that you'll see it every single day. That way you will consciously and subconsciously have reminders of your why and what you're working so hard towards. You can use your vision board as a focal point when meditating as well. Does anybody here meditate? Awesome. So once you've done this, you can kind of just watch the magic unfold. It's such a fulfilling feeling to see your dreams manifest into physical forms. Um, I have literally manifested so much with my vision boards. I've manifested three cars. I manifested my house. I manifested my career. I literally remember on one of the first vision boards that I made, I just wrote out on a piece of paper because I couldn't find an image of just my MLO to get my mortgage license. And I slapped that on my board. Um, and one mistake I did make with the first vision board that I ever did Every time I manifested something, I would take the image off and then replace it with something new. Don't do that because then it takes away from looking back and seeing all the amazing things that you've manifested. Another thing I like to do with my writings, um, because I'm not consistent with like one specific journal. I have them all over the place. And lots of times I like to rip the page out when I'm writing lists of what it is I want to manifest. And I'll just like fold them up and put them in random places and forget about it. And then years later, when I'm cleaning things out, I will find these writings and sit there and read them. And it's so cool to see all it's like, oh, okay, I manifested that. I manifested that. It's just, again, it's such a fulfilling feeling to know that you made that happen. Um, does anybody listen to Abraham Hicks? or know what that is. So Abraham Hicks is something that I listen to every single morning. I literally just got done listening. Um, I, I listen while I do my hair and makeup in the morning. Um, and if anybody has, an, I don't know if anybody's ever read the document, the book or the documentary, The Secret, but you can watch it for free on Amazon Prime. I highly recommend it. It changed my life 12 years ago. And anyone who's ever actually listened to me and watched the documentary always comes back to me and thanks me because it has helped change their lives as well. So this is just a quote from Abraham. If you want it and expect it, it will be yours very soon. So another thing I just want to stress is, you know, if you're like, okay, this is the dream car that I want. And you put it on your vision board. But if you feel any resistance whatsoever, I don't make enough to afford that. I don't know how I would pay those monthly payments. Anything that gives off resistance is going to 
push that goal further away. You have to say, treat the universe as if it's a catalog. And, you know, I'd like to have that. I'd like to have that. And then once you put it out there, let it go. Because the more you focus on something you don't have, you're attracting more of not having it. The universe doesn't understand words. It just understands vibration. So the key is to match the vibration of whatever it is you're wanting to manifest. And then to just let go and trust and have faith that it will come into your life. The more you do that, the quicker you're able to manifest these things, I promise. So here is an example of a little vision board that I put together for you guys. And I will just uh, kind of go over the sections real quick. You see up in the left-hand corner is a girl on the floor with just cash everywhere, right? Like how good would that feel to just roll around on the floor with all that money? I think it would feel pretty good. So another thing that's key, if you're using images of other people, it's very important to cut their heads off or color them out or even print a picture of your own face and put it over theirs. So when you're looking at it, your brain's not thinking that's somebody else getting married or that's somebody else rolling around in money. That's You can imagine yourself easier when you're not looking at somebody else's face. So I always make sure the, the face is covered uh, or chopped off like you see in the right-hand corner. <laughs> Um, so yeah, again, I put, um, a check on there for a million dollars from the universe. Um, then we moved down to like health and fitness. And this just gives me, you know, a visual idea of what I want my health and fitness to look like. Then we moved down into knowledge and wisdom. Um, this man right here is a representation or a visual for, NLP, which is just another certification that I'm working towards getting, which is basically reprogramming your brain, um, connecting with the earth. I'm big on that. I don't know if anybody watches my stories. I'm outside every day connecting with the squirrels and feeding them. And then um, fame and fortune, that's really, you know, uh, or fame is like how you want others to see you. So one of my dream goals um, for my career, and this would kind of fit in a couple different places on my board. So again, it, it doesn't really matter where you place it, uh, whatever calls to you, but uh, I'm working towards um, helping others heal, specifically women in general. And I would, you know, I'd like to eventually hold retreats for women um, so that the top picture there is kind of represents a sisterhood of us all coming together and helping one another heal. Um, then move down to the center, Fortune. That is the vision of my future beach house. <laughs> um, and then moving more down, the, the caterpillar and butterfly also represent wisdom and me continuing to expand my knowledge on this sort of thing in particular, really. Um, and then moving down to career, um, keeping the mortgage whisperer in there because, I, you know, I always, um, I love helping people in general. So I don't want to uh, leave the mortgage industry. I would like that to still be a big part of my life and just continue to expand my knowledge in that area as well. But also, um, I don't know if any of you know, I am Reiki certified. Um, so I do work in the holistic field as well. So the girl with laying there with crystals on her kind of just represents that side of my career as well. And that my mission is bigger than me. And up in the right-hand corner is love. Uh, that's me manifesting a dream wedding. <laughs> and then we go down to creativity. I thought that was a great image of somebody, you know, writing down all of their goals and their, their mind just kind of exploding with creativity. Travel. Um, Next week is actually the first time in my life that I'll be using my passport and leaving the country. So I'm super excited for that, but I want to see the rest of the world too. So that's definitely um, on my vision board. Oops. 
And then down in the corner here is just a little picture of Costa Rica, because that is one of the many places that calls to me. So um, I know I had Zach had sent me an example of his vision board. Did anybody else come prepared with the vision board that would like to share? Sheila? I have one too. Okay. Oh, great. Awesome. All I right, let's one, but it's not as cute. So I don't want to share it until I make <laughs> oh, it cuter. Oh, don't don't Doesn't feel matter that how way. cute it is. And you know it's what? Not very like cute honest, Yeah, and honestly too, like this is um I just want to put this out there to get get it started. You know, you don't have to have a completed vision board either. Like sometimes mine takes a while and I don't have it done in one day. So, you know, if you're still working on it too and you feel inclined to share it on social media and tag me that would be amazing as well so i highly encourage that um and i actually, i'm going to do that option okay, <laughs> okay. i love that um, idea so let's start with sheila do you want to share i can't hear you can i go last <laughs> you want to go last yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach, do you mind if I show yours? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. It is it is a draft. I literally finished it this morning. I had it all written out on Word and I was like, I'm not gonna share a whole bunch of Word documents with everybody. So mine's in progress, but I'll show you the draft, yeah. Okay, let me just get it moved over. I, I think, my, the battery in my mouse is dying, so it's <laughs> it's a struggle right here. Come on. Here we go. All right. Tell us about it, Zach. Okay, yeah. So actually yesterday was kind of the first day that I had a really good day yesterday. Um, yesterday, I finally kind of broke through the ice of what I really wanted and kind of envisioned how I wanted my year to go and um, really great. And it was great weather. So it all worked out really nicely. But um, for the wellness side, um, I really have just like so many other millennials, I have been tied to my phone and I haven't really been able to look up as much. And, you know, when I'm unwinding, I just decide to scroll through TikTok or social media and slowly and surely I've been realizing it's not a good idea um, and I haven't really enjoyed my time on it. So um, when I was reflecting yesterday, I thought, you know, I really need to get into more wellness habits besides just going to the gym every day because that's just kind of a thing that I I do without thinking about it. So um, I want to definitely get into yoga. So there's a yoga mat right there. It's just a Google stock image. <laughs> but um, I've been wanting to do yoga for a long time. Um, Sunday night, I hurt my shoulder and I was like not uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable all throughout Monday. So that was kind of the catalyst for me to start getting into that. Um, and just overall, I used to do it years ago and I really enjoyed it. It was something that I looked forward to. I mean, I fell off that wagon. So um, I really want to get back into that. So I'm going to make that a point to do that on the weekends, um, as well as meditation. Um, there's another, I didn't put it in here, but um, it also just, my goal is to slow my thoughts. Um, I feel like since October, my mind has just been going a mile a minute. And, you know, my but has been on the gas pedal and in some aspects of my life that is a great thing to do and just keep going but there are times that I just need to stop and think and absorb what I've done and accomplishments and you know um, use that as a catalyst for more success but I have to stop and realize um, what's going on and meditation is the best way to do that and I used to enjoy that as well so um Habits of morning affirmations. I believe in good things coming. That's something that, you know, I started doing over the weekend. I'm really glad that I started doing that. It's made um, each day that I've done that a lot better. And again, just centered myself for the day and kind of set myself off on, on a good mood. Um, let's see here. And then reading, um, nightly reading. Um, 
I, uh, at night, again, I just scroll through TikTok, kind of unwind, and that's a really good time for me to reset my thoughts, read a good book, something positive. Um, that way I can go to sleep and wake up with good intentions as well um, and go to sleep with something to think about. Um, and unwind. So um, that's a habit that I'm going to start doing and just for mental wellness as well. Um, travel. I got, got a passport last year thinking that I was going to go on a trip at the beginning of this year. Didn't do it, um, but I have a freshly crisp passport that I would love to use. And I put some fall leaves behind it because I want to be able to use that passport by fall of this year. Um, so that's something I'm going to make happen. Um, I would love to go somewhere with clear waters, a nice beach, and just quiet. So um, that is a goal of mine. And I also put a map of the United States as well because um, I want to go somewhere new. Um, I want to, uh, my goal is by the end of the year, I want to also travel somewhere in the United States that I haven't been. Um, so that's one of my goals just for travel. Um, let's see here. So career, um, the top here is a water droplet. It's just my um, visual represent, representation of me making an impact. So that's part of my why, why I'm doing this, why I got into real estate is I want to make impacts on people's lives. So I put 15 minimum there because that is my goal this year um, and to make 15 transactions, but I want to make more than just 15 impacts on people's lives. But I put 15 minimum there just to remind myself of the foundation of my goal, which is 15 transactions. But in all, I just really wanna make an impact on folks' lives. That's why I'm doing this. And I really had to stop and think about that yesterday. Um, it's hard to see, but I have a picture of a schedule on there. Um, I just want to be very stringent on myself on my daily schedule for professional reasons and really make sure that I don't veer off or get off the path as much, kind of stick to what um, I've set up for myself. And that was part of training, but that's always been in the back of my mind. Once I have a schedule going, I really can get into gear and um, accomplish a lot in one day. Networking, um, that's something I love to do. I kind of fell out of it, especially during the pandemic. It was really hard to do that. Um, and then I just kind of got lazy about it um, as, you know, Zoom meetings started happening and, you know, roll out of bed, washcloth on the face, and then just hit Zoom. And sometimes my camera's on, sometimes it's not. So being in person, going to networking events and mixers and doing all those stuff, that's what I enjoy the most about um, a sales career as well. I enjoy networking. I enjoy making connections, meeting people. And again, that goes back to the top, which is making an impact, making an impression on people, um, a positive one. Um, so that's why I have that there. And then I also, um, as something on the side, I got my uh, notary public and um, something to support my real estate career while I'm growing it. I also need to have a foundation for support on that as well. So um, on the side, I would like to see that grow and me implement um, hard work for what I did for that. Eh, not really hard work, but nonetheless, I made an effort to get it and I want to use it. Uh, new habits. Uh, the biggest thing that I really want to do is a monthly challenge for myself. Uh, so every month I'm going to do something new, something I haven't tried before. Um, I want to uh, have a monthly challenge and I have to get creative and what I want to do. Um, and I'll fill that out the month before and just kind of figure out uh, what's new and what I want to challenge myself to do um, in any aspect. So it can be, you know, one month can be a book, but then I need to move on to something more aggressive, like, again, going somewhere new or doing something that I haven't done before. Maybe even, uh, I hate it, but my partner loves to hike. I don't like to hike. So maybe going somewhere and taking a really long hike, just something that I really don't want to do that, um, that I think would better myself. So that's a monthly challenge. And a daily check-in journal. I have wanted to start journaling for forever, um, especially in the past month. And I just have not gotten to it. Um, that's another part that ties into slowing myself down is journaling, making myself present, writing down my thoughts. There's a lot of things that pass through my head that, you know, I 
and I'm sure all of us do this where we're like, you know what, I thought about doing that at one point and I just completely forgot about it. This is a great way to remind yourself of things that you want to do, your aspirations, um, because I'm very forgetful at times, especially if I don't write it down. So just daily journaling um, is a new habit that I'm going to start implementing. Um, and then last is financial. Um, it says a goal is a dream with a deadline. <laughs> so um, I do have goals that I want to make. One of them is investing. I have money that I've been wanting to invest in for a while, and I've been procrastinating meeting with an advisor about that. Um, it would be so beneficial for me to do that. So uh, this year, I will start to make investments. And um, within the next month, I want to go ahead and meet with an advisor so I can figure out how to um, set a good financial uh, situation for myself in the future and put my money to good use. Um, I have a vault on here. I love saving money. Saving money is why I'm able to do what I'm doing right now. Um, so it, again, I just need to be more stringent on myself uh, and saving. I have a goal as of what I want to save. I didn't put it on here just because I was rushing, but um, I have a, uh, I would love to replace what I've already, you know, spent up just uh, since October, but my goal is to double that. Um, so that's what I have in mind. And again, it's just the goal is a dream with a deadline. I know what I want to make this year and I'm going to make it. Um, and so that's why I put that on there. So I have a goal. It's in CSU as well, but um, it's not negotiable. I'm going to make that goal. So that's why I put it on there. And so far, that's the draft of my vision board. Awesome. That's really good. Love that's it. really good. Thanks. All right. Who wants to oh. share next? Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say thank you so much for um, for that. Like, seriously, when I heard that we were doing when I uh, knew that we were doing this on Monday, yesterday was Tuesday and it, it was a catalyst. So thank you for having us do this. This was so beneficial for me. I really needed this because, you know, I kind of dug myself a hole as to, you know, just. I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. I need to do this. And it was just a kick in the butt for, you know, me to go out there and start doing what needed to be done. So I just wanted to thank you for having this mastermind because for some of us, it was a really good kick in the butt. <laughs> I love that. You're <laughs> to welcome. be productive. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, it's new moon. We're in new moon energy. So this is the perfect time to set your intentions and, and put everything down in writing, put it out to the universe. All right. Does anybody want to go next? I can go next. All mine, right. mine is not um, digital, but okay. I'll show to you in the physical, virtual world. <laughs> Dave, here, let me unblur my background here. How do I do that? Okay, there. So, um, mine's maybe the feng shui is a little different, but. Basically, these up here is just like my financial goals. It's like there's some things that I really want. Um, I really want a fishing kayak. I know that seems like very trivial, but <laughs> that's like been on my list of things. But I told myself I wouldn't get it until I got my first paycheck. So that's like really motivating me, I guess. Um, I've always um been in love with Volkswagens I had a bus and I sold it so here there's like a little soft top bug that I'd like to cruise around in someday um you know a beach house would be awesome a cabin wood wooded cabin is like down the road where I'd like to have a beach escape and a woods escape um and then kind of going down here like personal affirmations for me um, they say I give myself permission to be my authentic self. Um, the, another one is I hear and speak the truth. Um, and then another one is I am worthy of the life I want. And another one is I am insightful and intuitive. And those are just some things that help me manifest what I um, truly believe is best for me. And what I need to work on kind of things. Um, here's a picture of like some yogis on the beach. Um, 
I just want to connect more with my community in that way. I did get my yoga teacher training and uh, it's a big part of what I love to do and the people I like to connect with. So um, that is a big part of my community that I want to like continue to reach out for um, people like-minded. And there's a big picture of a garden, um, a community garden. I'd like to find a place that I can connect with people in that way, growing food um, and being sustainable. Um, let's see, so, and then these are pictures of like people that I, love and have connected with and so it's kind of an idea of I'd like to find these are people that I don't live near anymore and um just people that I want to connect continue to connect with and stay connected with which I struggle with um and um also finding people like that in my life in current like actual life now here um and I have this little top agent, North Carolina on here. Eventually I, you know, a lot of pieces go into that, but I think um, just that's, that's what I'm aiming is to be confident in my career and, um, you know, move towards being respected in the community as a real estate agent. Um, Let's see here. Also, here's some pictures of places on my bucket list. This is Greece. It's up next on my list and Argentina. Some crazy um, views that me and my partner have been dying to see. So that's on our list. Um, and then my family and communities of my like past yoga experiences and like communities that I want to make a reality here in my life in North Carolina. Um, and then this is just a picture of like sustainability to me and um, making sure that I'm encouraging those around me to make steps towards sustainable lifestyles um, and helping my community recycle and <laughs> things like that. I feel like, um, my community is less uh, in that mindset than I'm used to. So I'm like, you know, like to make steps towards making that a reality in what I see in my community. So, um, and then this, it, this is a little verbiage. It says, um, sincerity, the ability to speak freely and openly and honestly about anything to initiate any actions while spreading as much good karma as possible. So just being um, true with my words, like I said earlier, um, I hear and speak the truth and encouraging people to live their truths. And um, yeah, so that's that's a gist. Oh, and there's my, my pups that I love and they're like my children. So those are the things that I love and wanna keep around me and also things that I'm working towards um, in my community and that's, like where I'm at, like working towards connecting with my community and people putting people like-minded around me. So that's, that's the gist of my board. Awesome. I love it. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Sheila, you ready? <laughs> Almighty. I had to unmute. It's like, is it me or the screen is acting up? Okay. Morgan's got some yeah. weird Max. I was gonna say going I on. see yeah, I really see cool. it on my screen too. <laughs> and I was wondering if you guys can see that. I don't know. Well, I don't know what that is. Animated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mine's is just cut dry. Um my vision changed daily um on a lot of things, and I have no ceiling to my thinking cap. So I just put a couple of things down. Let me share, see if it is share. Boom. And boom. Share screen. Tired of screen window. I just want to share this. Okay, let me share the whole screen. Okay. 
Can you ask do I need to do, do I need to do something to shut mine off? No. Can okay. you see? You can see my screen now. Yes. Okay. So this is my vision board. Very cut, dry, simple right now. Um, selling homes, listed listings or buying. That's what I have for that one. And um, that's just me and my goal for this year. No sleep until I get my goal accomplished this year. So everyday work, all day long, nonstop, get her done. Um, I'm looking for financial freedom. Um, and I think if you work hard and you focus, um, that's an accomplishment. And this is just my sign reminding me if I work hard, um, radiate what I know, not just say it and speak it exactly, know it and just second nature, say it off mine. My financial freedom is just ahead. This is um, Randy and me out to dinner, um, enjoying ourselves. So, you know, our children are grown and our divorce, so we focus on us a lot. Also them as well and grandkids. I think that in order to be able to accomplish um, your career and financial freedom, you have to be focused on your health to have a good life. So I do meditate every morning for 30 minutes. I go outside, sit in my backyard with a cup of coffee, look at the birds. They're very loud and they do try to communicate. I think sometimes, sometimes little bunnies are running around, squirrels, all kinds of crazy stuff be going on out there. But I do meditate a lot every morning. If I don't, y'all will notice when I come in the office, I'm very like, uh, I need some coffee. I hadn't had my meditation that morning. So I kind of be a little off on that. And this right here is my money symbol. I know if I sell these homes and I stay focused, I'm going to have plenty of money. That's a given. You work hard, it's going to show one way or another. Your revenue is going to come in. And if I'm working hard, I want to play hard. So I want to eventually go to some designated island somewhere where there's no cell phone towers, no communication, just me and Randy enjoying and living our best life for whatever time frame we are there for, be it a week or two weeks. Just sit there and no communication with the outside world. This is um, a vision of mine. I want to learn how to fly a plane. I want to go to um, aviation school. I don't want to fly commercial or nothing like that. I just want to be able to buy, use this, this to buy me my own personal plane and be able to fly it. That's my vision. Um, that's a goal of mine, just to go to aviation school to get a um, pilot license to buy me a little small plane. No more than five, six people probably can get in. Just something real small. That's one of my visions and my goals. And to top it all off, I want to rent out one of the great escape mansions, the party mansions, the game room mansion and um, take all my grandkids um, through friends and families and we just stay there for a week. So that's uh, a goal and a vision of mine to take them to the um, Great Escape um, game mansion that the whole mansion is dedicated to every game board or new game that you ever played in your life. It even have an escape room. And it's like on, I think seven or eight acres, the whole, Island is designated to that. I mean, the whole land mass is dedicated to a game theme. So that's to just the mind, one of my vision boards. <laughs> one, I have one that I do have posted on my closet door. So when I go in and get dressed in and out that closet, I got it right there on the inside of that door. So as I'm walking in and out and doing laundry, organizing and color code in my closet, I'm seeing that vision of that post-it paper on that door. So I see that as I'm cleaning, moving everything because I can see that and that's reminding me visually. And I I can't even count how many times I stop and look at it. So that's the gist of my vision. That's awesome. Thank Did you. Did I stop sharing? I think so, yeah. Okay. That's great. And, you know, you brought up 
something really important about meditating. Um, I think that is really key to like, it goes hand in hand with these visual vision boards and journaling and putting it out into the universe. And I think it's just like, you know, somebody that works out every day and you go a couple of days without working out and you feel like crap and you're in a bad mood. It's the same thing. And, and just like you said, when, if you go to the office without meditating, I'm the same way, Sheila, it's like, I can just feel something's off and it's because I haven't meditated. It's the best way to start your day. So anyone who doesn't, I highly recommend start doing it. It'll change your life. Um, but that's so awesome. Thank you for sharing. I'm like so excited to see how many of you already do these things um, because it it really, it's changed my life. Um, so that's awesome. Thank you again. Anyone else want to share? Doug has one, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, Doug has one. I'll do mine. It is a uh, very basic, but it's um, not at all surprising if you know my personality because <laughs> I basically just follow directions and it's very simple. So um, give me just a second. <clears throat> all right. So here is mine. Can everybody see it? Okay. Yep. Um, so I tried to follow Morgan's um, lead. So starting in the top left-hand corner, uh, my wealth, my, my family is really my wealth. And, you know, money is important and obviously it allows us to do things, but I want money to give me the freedom to do things with my family and to make sure my family is comfortable and safe and healthy um, and gives us the opportunity to do things together. So that's really what my wealth is about. Um, health for me is just being strong enough to live a full life. Uh, I started working out a couple of years ago, really for the first time consistently in my life. And I think it's really made a big difference in my attitude and just my overall approach to things. And now that my gym is closed, I'm struggling with that because I'm trying to get back into a routine. Uh, I don't want to be a fragile old man who can't do anything. Um, and can't be there for my kids and my grandkids as they get older and want to be able to do things. So this is kind of a caricature, but it's, you know, I think it gets the point across. Um, wisdom, you know, I'm big on continuing to learn from what life teaches me and seeing failures as an opportunity to learn and grow and not using, looking at them in a negative light. You've really only failed if you don't learn something when something goes bad. And especially for folks in real estate and just starting out, make sure you keep that in mind because it will be really helpful um, because it'll better prepare you for, for the future, I think. Um, for fame, you guys have probably heard me use this before, Esiquam Baderi, it's the motto of North Carolina. It means to be rather than to seem. That's what I want to be known for, someone who is genuine and um, you can take it base, face value doesn't really put on any pretense and you know what you're getting when you're dealing with that person. Uh, let's see, fortune. Uh, I believe you make your own luck or you put yourself, you, you know, you're, you're lucky for a reason and it's because um, preparation meets opportunity or you put yourself out there and give your chance yourself the chance for luck, quote, quote unquote, luck to happen to you. Um, my career, um, this is from the Juicy video from Biggie. <laughs> I love Biggie. Um, my whole crew is lounging. That's my goal for being a team owner is to see everyone around me wildly successful. It's one of the reasons I'm really excited about doing our second team trip next week because that's really what I envision. Everyone around me thriving, succeeding, achieving and exceeding the goals that they set for themselves and just being content with their life going in the direction they want to. And that's why I think this is such a fun and cool, but also really meaningful exercise too, that you actually sit down and take the time to picture that vision and make it what you want to be. Because, um, you know, I might not be as you know, cool and holistic or whatever as Morgan is and, and with all the stuff, but I've long believed in self-fulfilling prophecies and putting things out there and make it happen. So in whichever way you call it, it's how it resonates with you, right? And it just shows we, you know, there's a common theme 
I think really for everyone, even if you haven't always called it the same thing or looked mm -hmm. at it the same way. And I think it is really cool to incorporate it more in your daily life to make sure that you do, you know, keep that stuff front of mind. It helps you remember your why. Um, love unconditionally um, and for good reasons is how I would like to be loved. It's how I choose to love. Do I want to be feared or loved? Easy, both. I love this from the office. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. <laughs> um, uh, creativity, I don't think I'm personally that creative, at least artistically wise, but maybe I'm creative in other ways, starting businesses, trying to bring um, other things on board as well like that, but I don't always know what I'm doing. And, you know, sometimes you just have to fake it till you make it. That's how I started in real estate. You know, you, you have a little bit and then you figure out how to make it yours and how to make it work and how to be a great resource. And, and the same thing, hopefully as a leader and team builder and team owner and all of those things. And then travel. I love to travel, obviously. And But the big one on my radar is my parents have their 50th anniversary next year and they went on their honeymoon in Hawaii and Amanda and I also went on our honeymoon in Hawaii and next year is our 20th anniversary so we're trying to plan uh, a family trip to go to Hawaii so that's my vision for that that one will definitely be one of those that I update because I always believe in having the next trip the trip after the next trip planned so there you go awesome let me share yeah, thank you for participating. Awesome. Well, does anybody else want to share or have any questions? Christina. Well, if you if if you do no. or you want to talk more in depth about this stuff, uh, please reach out because I mean I'll go down rabbit holes and on this conversation. <laughs> So I'm really excited that we did this uh, because I feel like my vision board is going to be like a before and after. I'll like save the one that I made, but I'll show you how it's improved. Okay. Love it. That's great. This was fun. This was very enlightening. It was inspiring, I feel. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and I, I, I love seeing everybody's different ideas and goals and it, it, it's inspiring to see other people's goals and aspirations. So thank you for everyone who did share. And it's cool to see some commonality, but also things mm -hmm. that are specific to what's important to different people, which is, you know, is really meaningful for everyone as well. So thanks to everybody for putting yourself out there and Morgan for leading this. I think this might be our best master man. And so far people just really got mm -hmm. into it. Thank you guys for prepping and coming to discuss and sharing your stuff and, Maybe we can revisit this uh, and, you know, later down the line and we can talk about how we've progressed and how our board, you know, we've checked things off that we were really excited about envisioning and then what's our next vision and things like yeah. that. I'd love to hold like an in-person vision board workshop for us all to get together and, and do it together. That would be cool. That would be a lot of fun. A hundred percent. Okay. All well, right. thanks again, everybody. Thank you specifically, Morgan. We really Thank appreciate you. your time and preparation. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye. 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 Bye.